the Barstool Sports Advisor. America's premier sports information program with Dave El Prez Portnoy. Dan Big Cat Cats. And the source, Stu Finer. Welcome to Barstool Sports Advisors. Happy Sunday morning to everyone. It is week 12. Reminder, FanDuel, our great sponsor, FanDuel, the Mortal Lock Parlay coming up later, but you can also sign up right now, get $500 risk-free. I am joined, as always, by my good friends, Dave, Stu, Hannah, and Stat Boy Tommy. Tommy, you had a tough week last week. How are you feeling? Yeah, I took a lot of heat for my looks last week. I was called weak, pathetic, and a masculine loser, yada, yada, yada. And I've decided, you know what? I've had enough of that, so I'm switching up my look. Whoa! Whoa! Hot Tommy! Tommy! Hot Tommy! Tommy! Whoa! Tommy! 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 so hot you can cook an egg on you! Oh! There's a hard boiled egg. There's a hard boiled egg, Tommy. I got you. It bounced egg. right off my pecs of steel. I got the hard boiled egg that time. And it's the saga of the egg. It just keeps going. It bounced right off egg. my pecs of steel. Oh, there you go, Tommy. He's back. Now you smell like an egg. Egg boy Tommy. Well. Hot we, Tommy. Hot, hot, yeah, hot egg, egg boy. Egg boy, hot I'll egg boy it. Tommy. Egg hot, boys. hot drop soup. Don't want to be called that. It oh, does smell fire. like egg. Hey, go, oh, Tommy fire. Tommy okay, fire. guys, week 12. Let's get it going. I have something special that I want to do. I'm starting to see the board so well. I'm going to do something I don't usually do, but I want to hear what you guys say. I, right now, sitting here, am going to guarantee that I go six and one or better, and if I don't, all my picks the rest of the year are free. Ooh, six and one's tough. Yeah, six and one that. or better, all my picks for the rest of the year are free. I'm oh, giving them away. Hard. I'm giving them away. Amazing. I'm giving them away on StuFinder.com. Dave, what do you think about that? Uh, I, it's a bold prediction. I don't say coming to fruition. Mm -hmm. uh, I just rhymed prediction and fruition. Mm -hmm, you did. So, Dave, you are the hottest guy on this show, 50 and 30. Two years running, actually, and I'm literally hot. I have a fever. I'm literally hot. Unbelievable what you've done on this show. Trust the man in the suit. Let's get into week 12. We have some good games. we got to get through some not-so-great games first, but we're going to start with the Panthers and the Saints. The Saints at home coming off of a get-right game against the Bucks. The Panthers, Kyle Allen, he's turned into a pumpkin. Kyle Allen stinks. He, stinks. He, he, I did actually, I went away from the man in the suit at Carolina and the over double loser. I hate Carolina. Saints have been great to me this year. Mm -hmm. I'm talking great. Every time I bet them, they seem to win. Minus nine and a half. The Saints should destroy this team. Carolina can't get on the right side. The right play is the Saints. Right, wrong, man in the suit, Carolina, easy. Whoa! Just switch a route right there, right out of the gate. Stu, I'm what sweating. do you got? Don't see that happening. Uh, I'm going to lay the number. And you know I hate laying double digits in the NFL right now. Uh... As of this post, we're laying 10. I mean, what did I call for last week? Uh, they're going to win by 50. I think they win by 21 easily here. The thing with this NFL season is there's nothing really to look forward to now because you know that the Saints are going to play the 49ers in the championship game, and you know the Ravens are going to play the Patriots in the championship game. Those four, box them in. One of those four are your Super Bowl champions right now. So I just want the season to run. Let's see if the Patriots can win their seventh ring. Let's get it over with already. It's Patriots against the Niners, but in this game, you lay 10 all day. Saints by 21. Tw no, 22. Stu. No, 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 wait, wait, 24. Stu, you just gave us your final four, and I noticed that you didn't have the best roster in all of the NFL in that yeah, final Vikings. four, the Minnesota Vikings. Kurt Cousins, and I'm predicting this right now. Just one on the note that he's Second Kurt game of the really playoffs is. will throw for 507 yards, five touchdowns at the three-yard line. We'll try to sneak it in. Fumble, and that's how they lose. That's okay. a bold prediction that's from a, Stu Fighter. That's a tough one. No Kurt Thomas. Cousins. Again, he's saying that correctly. 512, five cousins. Okay. <laughs> What's the weather going to be like in New Orleans on Sunday? <laughs> New Orleans doesn't, don't they have a dome? They do. They have a dome. Well Pass that test. For my, well my tailgaters, I, it's 63 and cloudy, but. Well played. Dome. Nice. Do they tailgate normally? Just no, go Bourbon down Bourbon Street. Street. Bourbon Street. Bars. You just walk right, you stumble right in there. Tommy. Jambalaya. Hot boy Tommy. Gumbo. Give us the, the uh, stat. 
Three Emmys from last week, two stats for this game, both pro Carolina. The underdog is 9-1 and one against the spread in the last 10 meetings between these two teams, and the road team is 25-11 and 11 in the last 36 meetings against the spread between these two. Mm. Ooh, well done. Don't care. I'm taking the Saints minus 9.5. Here's what I do know. The Panthers want to run the ball. The Saints have one of the best run Ds in the league. Kyle Allen, little tiny hand Kyle Allen, it's over, buddy. It's over. You're a bum. You're a bum, and you're going to stay a bum. Take the Saints at, minus nine. At and a half. any level, do you two, to my left and to my right, start to question your picks when I'm on no. the opposite side? No, I am Never. fifty and thirty-one. Never. That's the best record in the country. Dave, it's the eighth wonder of the world, by the way. Dave, I guaranteed six or one or better all my picks. Well, there's are your one. Yeah. Okay. Well, fine. Here's my six: Seahawks and Eagles. Next game up. Eagles are kind of reeling here. They need a win. Seahawks off of a bye. I'm going to start with the weather in Philadelphia, and then Hannah, could you please kick it to hot boy Tommy? All right, in Philly on Sunday, it's going to be 48 with some rain. Hot boy Tommy, what's the stats looking like? Seahawks mm. have covered nine straight games as an underdog. Wow. Gank? Wow. Nine straight <laughs> games, Seahawks is underdog. I got an extra stat for you. Russell Wilson is an underdog, 23-7-1 in his career. 23-7-1 against the spread as an underdog. Wow. That's pretty good. Stu, I'll start with you. Um, can I just say, is it true that Hannah felt so bad she tried to slip into your DM and you didn't even respond I'm, to her? I'm on to you, girls away above Hannah's league. Okay. Oh. I just wanted to fool the record out there to show the 15 oh. million viewers. All right. Um, love the Eagles in this game. First of all, I don't know if anyone's talking about it. The 17-10 victory by the New England Patriots last week where I had the Eagles and they couldn't catch a pass and that's why they lost, was one of the greatest games I've ever seen in my life. Every possession, every down, I was glued to the TV. I mean, Eagles played a phenomenal game, Patriots played a phenomenal game, two sides of the ball, and even without their offense, they won. In this game, all Eagles, all Eagles, all Eagles, fly Eagles, fly, 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 lay the number, lay the number, lay the number. Okay, so the Eagles-Patriots game last week, in the second half, there were 11. 11 punts. I was at was that amazing. game. I was at the 11 game. punts. It was amazing. I'm a Patriot fan. I, I am on the record as saying it's one of the worst games I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it was one of the best games ever. Again, I don't like 45 34. I don't like those games. I like 3 0. I like 7 0. I like 10 0 because you're glued to the TV because one mistake, one mistake, and that's the game. And that's exactly what it was. Brady had one drive, and that was the game. You Done. Really, See you so long. Really didn't even have a drive. Yeah, Edelman. Really one did. drive. Yeah. He had one drive. Really. Edelman. No. He had uh, one drive. I can't believe I'm protecting Tom Brady right well, now. Well, I mean, he didn't have a drive. Edelman, they had to do a trick play to score. They, what do you mean? Edelman threw the touchdown. That's Brady got him down play. the field, and Edelman play. threw the touchdown. But again, it's play. Tom Brady. Listen, I am so on Tom Brady right now because everyone's off Tom Brady. I mean, guys, 9-1. and one. They're pissing on him. He's 9-1. and one. He's 90 years old. What do you expect? Oh. He's 9 and 1, Tom. I, I love that. you, Tom. I'm on you right now. Never in my life I've been on you. I'm on you right now. I love you. I want to make this very clear. I am not off Tom Brady. That was not a good game, but Tom Brady and the Patriots will win the Super Bowl. I was watching a show the other day. This who can beat the Ravens? Uh, how about the six-time Super Bowl champs who have home field advantage right now? This game, as far as this game goes, the Eagles stink. Carson Wentz stinks. He's exactly who I thought he was. Um, I love the Philly people. They're great people. It's a great time. I don't know how they win this game. Seattle should be, to me, a six-and-a-half-point favorite. Nick Foles is not walking through his door. There was a Nick Foles chant at the game in the crowd. Really? Started not by you. started yeah, by me. Yeah, started by you. Not started by yeah. me. When I heard yeah. it going, I joined in gleefully. That's why you lost your voice. Well, I'm under the weather right now. Flu game. I'm under the weather. I'm taking the Eagles here because they shouldn't. The, the Seahawks are a thousand times better. The Eagles stink. But Their they, offense stinks. I'll take the Eagles because it makes no sense. But they, Man in the suit. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Do they really stink? Yes. How many? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. No, they stink. I counted seven. Seven passes in their hands that you and me are big. Exactly, they stink. At, that Carson went through perfect. Nelson balls, Aguilar, and they dropped. he stinks. No, no, but those they are next gen balls. two stats right there. They seven dro passes. Seven. Drop seven. Dropping seven. passes. Seven passes. Dropping passes is seven definition pa of stinking. Hannah could have caught the passes. That's what they Tommy do. Tommy could have caught half but those every passes. week they do that. Right, Alshon Jeffrey's not going to be back. Two out of the seven. Here, least. listen to me. Listen to me. 
I got burned last week when I did this. I went against Russell Wilson. I'm done going against Russell Wilson for the rest of the year. He's going to be the MVP. You close your eyes, you close your eyes, and you say to yourself, it is a tie game in the fourth quarter. Russell Wilson or Carson Wentz? Russell Wilson or Carson Wentz? I'm taking Russell Wilson. I'm taking the plus two. Easy. I feel like right now you're a big old square. You're a big old square. That's fine. Uh, That's fine. Square pants. Fuck it. Who's that I yellow guy? SpongeBob. SpongeBob. That's you. SpongeBob, that yellow guy. I love it. I love all these picks. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. LA. I love, I love Wilson's it. Wilson's ability. Gronk dancing. Him. LA because Laker girl. How do you I love have it. no sex before the wedding? I mean, no woman can ever do that to no, me. No, he that's re-virginized himself. That's a lie. I don't care. That's oh, I'm a yeah. scam? That's, yeah, it's a lie. Russell no, he's a liar. Wilson. I don't Russell like You're a liar Sierra. and a scam, Russell Wilson. He's fucking Sierra. Yeah, come on. He Wake heard up, God talk to him in the mirror. Listen. Woo! Last game before we take a break. Raiders at Jets. I put this game on here for two reasons. One, I think the Raiders are going to go to the playoffs. Two, Stu, you need the Jets to run the table to win your first week one mortal lock, which was the biggest bullshit I've ever seen to put a team total as your mortal lock week one. We need to roast you for that. You're an idiot. Who do you have in this game? Well, first of all, can you see my brilliance of this? I picked a game, and week one is my best bet. We're still talking about it. This is week 12. We're still <laughs> relevant on my week one best bet. We're going to carry Barely. through. Brilliant. Barely. How many, how many wins do they have? Uh, Two. Three. Three. Okay, how many more do they need? They need four. S- uh, all of them. No, four more. Five. No. No. Uh, uh, seven nine. and a half. Seven. You it can, was seven listen, and a half. you can go back to the tape. It's seven. It's seven. It was six and a half. Went to seven after I gave it out. So if it's they seven. lose, if they lose one more game, though, right. you're screwed. Uh, oh, two more games. I can push it off. No, okay. no, no. Well, in this game, they're losing. So let me tell you something right now. It's all Raiders. J-E-T-S. Suck, suck, suck. The Raiders are two and a half here. John Gruden rolls into the Meadowlands and whips out his giant schlong and pisses all over the entire Jet organization. J-E-T-S. Blow, blow, blow. Lay the number with the Raiders. Ready to roll. Okay. There we go. I'm happy we brought this game up, Dave. Give me your pick real quick. Jets. Jets? You like the Jets? You need to run quick, the table? It, it, no, I don't think they're ready to beat. Raiders on the road, give me a break. Slow down. West Coast to East put, Coast. Put the brakes on this team. Tommy, give me a quick stat. Well, this is my what if I told you stat of the week. You just said, oh, Oakland, no, that everyone thinks they struggle on the East Coast. What if I told you since 2013, the Raiders are actually 11-8-1 against the spread when playing in the Eastern times? I'd say you're full of shit. Yeah, I'd also say 11-8-1 really isn't that great. It's pretty right, good but for you the would have yeah, guessed okay. like 5-20. Winning. Yeah, Better than I, mean, I would have okay. thought Winning is Raiders. winning. Okay. I know that if the Jets were going to Oakland, they would definitely lose. They always lose in Oakland. Yes. Hannah, I have a pick, but I need the weather very quickly. The weather is going to be anything too crazy. Just some rain showers and 49 in New York on Sunday. Give me the over. Over, over. 46 over and a half. There you go. Give me the over. 46 and a half. And the Jets yeah. have gone over, Dave, four straight games. They've scored 34 and 34 the last 46 two games. 46 and a half? That's what we're 46 getting? 46 and a half. I don't think that's the line. What is it? I don't what know. What do you have? I'm looking it up, Dan. What do you Dan. have, Dan. Relax. Dave? Chill out, What man. do you I'm have? I'm looking it up. 46 and a half. I'm looking it up. I've had a 46 and a half. <laughs> Thank you. I rest my case. We will be back right after this with some more picks. Well, how about that team win, eh, with dog? Boys were buzzing out oh, there, biz. Man. Hey, it's my drink. It's Pink Whitney. Man, you gotta pass the puck a little bit. I made you one, buddy. Thanks, pal. Hey, cheers. Most ice time you got all night. On my Instagram right now is a free winner at Stu Finer. Six and two during this 2019 Sports Advisors run where whether you submitted your information into stewfinder.com or you went directly to my Instagram, which will make you laugh, make you cry, make you entertained, improve your sex life, improve your confidence, feel like you're part of Stu Nation. And again, what else is there in life? Confidence, energy, winners, winners, winners! At Stu Finer on my Instagram, at Stu Finer, tell all your friends, at Stu Finer. 
Welcome back, Barstool Sports Advisors. We have two more games this weekend we have to get to. They are the premier games of Week 12. I'm so excited for both of these matchups, and we are going to start in Foxborough. Dave, the team, America's team in the 90s versus America's team, well, maybe not America's team, but the best team in the last 20 years, the Patriots, Cowboys, you got to love this game. Yeah, I'd argue the Patriots are the best team in the history of organized sports. 19 straight seasons where they have gone uh, better than 500. Yeah, and, and if you look at the salary cap and the, the desire for uh, parity and Roger Goodell and all the stuff that pages, all the adversity they face, the best run of any team in the history of professional sports and really human civilization. I'd put it up versus the Roman Empire. I really would. Um, Cowboys, I don't think they're very good. I don't have to talk very long because even though I thought the Cowboys were very good, I would still never bet against the Patriots. You do not make money betting against the Patriots. You don't for the last 20 years. Do they cover every week? No. Do they cover 90% of the time? Probably. I'll take the Patriots minus six and a half. Got to get the offense clicking. I'm not worried. Let me tell you people out there. Yeah, Baltimore's doing well. They're peaking. It's too early. San Francisco peaked too early. Baltimore peaking too early. We peak around week 14. I don't know how. We'll fix the offense. We got a lineman back this week. Don't know when. Don't know how. I just know we will. I'll take the Patriots here minus six and a half. Bears. Super Bowl. See you in Miami. Bears peaked against the Vikings week four. A little too early. early. Just too, too early. early. Stu, who do you like in this game? Um, again, uh, let me reiterate. Goes without saying, it's going to be the 49ers Patriots Super Bowl. Um, if Bill Belichick can hold the Rams to three points in the Super Bowl on a neutral field, I mean, he, he absolutely killed the could, Rams. He absolutely could shut out the Cowboys in this game. Uh, Tom Brady, although he's getting shredded on a momentary basis, too old, play caller, game manager, total nonsense. I love Tom. I mean, he's 9-1. and one. You're as good as your record says you are. He's 9-1. and one. That's true. He's 9-1 and one, uh, in this game. Cowboys beat him outright. Uh, you're going to take the plus six. They're going into New England and beating them outright. Their offense is struggling. They're really struggling here. The Cowboys have one thing. A great D, and they're going to run the ball. Belichick will stop the run. Dak's going to have to beat him, and he will outright. Forget the six. Outright. What's 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 the uh, money line in this game? Like, I don't know, like but it's Cowboys. Four one. Not, outright. Not, I want two not, picks not, on this definitely game. Definitely not. Four I want one two six. picks. Probably I want, like plus two thirty. Okay, I want two picks here. I want plus two thirty outright, and that's going to count as two point three wins for me. Yep. By the way, at a plus six, it's the Cowboys outright. 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 Okay, so the Cowboys do not have a great defense. No, they, they actually don't. just gave up 27 points to Jeff Driscoll. Uh, let's do some weather and Tommy maybe go. Actually, Tommy, you go and kick it to Hannah. Let's see if we can go reverse it. Okay, in the Pats' last 20 home games as a touchdown or less favorite, they are 14, 3, and 3 against the spread and 19 and 1 straight up. Hannah, mm. weather. Quick, quick and interjection. They are exactly plus 240 on FanDuel. How good are you? That's a brain. How right good there. are you? That's I mean, a brain. how good are you? The brain is sick and it's still very, very impressive. It's sick and it's sick. Very, very impressive. As There's the kids almost say, nobody on the planet who could do the math I just did yeah. with the fever I have it's as crazy. quickly as I just did. Credit to me, all the credit. You are sick in the literal tense, and then you're sick in the, as the kids as say, the you're kids dope. Say, oh, he's sick. You're so dope, you're sick. No one handles an iPhone. You're like ill. You. You're oh, ill matic. Right 50 and 31 no cap. because I know the lines before the lines know the lines. Yeah, the lines don't know the, the lines, lines as well like, as Dave the knows guy the, in the lines. Suit? Well, let's try to fade him, win on him. No, I know. Mm -hmm. We're going to move the lines. 50 and 31. Dr. Bob, no, Dr. Dave. Woo! You need to see a doctor. You're so sick. I don't feel well. Oh, no, you are actually sick. Are you getting really sick? sick. By the way, by oh, the yeah. Way oh, everyone. Probably. Everyone's My sick. My mom used to say when you get to this stage of the cold, you're beyond the contagious stage. Thank yeah. You. Thank okay. you, Mom. Uh, thank you, Mom. I'll pull it north. Hannah, weather. I just want to say thank you, Tommy. You're looking fantastic today. Don't pander. I we love, know what you said. Don't love bang. Switch up. It's unbecoming. No. Mm -mm. You okay. ruined his self esteem. Beneath you. I'm trying to make years. him feel better. You he, can't make him feel better. I need you to push him. him to make a positive change in his life to be more attractive. Anna, you had, your, you had your chance. Can I just share had your chance. two therapy sessions last week? Yeah. Two Freudian Besides therapy sessions. Besides the fact, you blah, put blah, blah, on the couch. blah, 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 the weather in um, Foxborough is going to be 49 and rainy. Ooh, running out of space Bun up bunch there. Bunch of rain running down there. Running out this, of space up there. Place over here. They call that the Eastern Corridor. The, it is the Eastern Corridor. I'm going to take. Eastern Corridor, thank you, Dave. Listen, thank I'm going to take the under. 
What do you think about that? I don't like, like it. You don't I, like I, it? No, I mean, I, like I, it? it makes you sense. Like it? I just don't. Unders, you don't like it? Unders don't get the juices flowing for me. Can I tease my pick? You can do whatever you want. The Cowboys in the under. It's my teaser of the week. My teaser, teaser of the week. You guaranteed six of one. Do you keep one of just adding picks on here? No, this is my this is my fourth pick. It's a teaser. So 12 and... And, and uh, 52. 52. That's your pick. That is... I don't know how that loses. You know what they how say? How does that lose? You know what they say about how a tease. How does that lose? You know what they say about a tease. Is, about a tease. Fellas, we're, we're making money. Yeah, no, I know. I know. I literally, they literally say the name of the bet Dave, is a tease. How can that lose though? Looks great. Because There's it's, it's actually tease. no chance. Like Tommy right now is dressed, he's a tease for all right. the ladies oh, out there. Man. Yes. You a badge tease. Yes. A badge tease. <laughs> Ooh. Tommy. Ooh. It was only a matter Tommy. of time. Tommy in the town. It was only a matter Tommy's of time. Like the opposite of a cock tease. To, to but Tom. I could be a cock tease too for Ooh. <laughs> Okay. Right. Ooh, I'm that's enough. Bleep, bleep, bleep. Well, I like it. It's free. It does, we don't care. And it was well, only yeah, a matter of time. Like, yeah. Tommy has a little for the boys and the girls. Yeah. It's coming, coming out. out. It coming was out. only a matter of time until Tommy said something that made us all cringe. <laughs> Here we are. Whatever. Let's finish it up with the best game of the week. It's Sunday night football. They flexed it. We're in the flex season. Green Bay at San Francisco. Hannah, give me some sun. Give me some sunshine. I mean, it's going to be a night game, so it's just going to be, you know, 50 degrees and clear in San Francisco. On beautiful. Sunday evening. Beautiful. I love this game. I love, love, love this game. But I want to hear Absolutely. what my guys to the left of me have to say first. Dave. So 49ers, I just mentioned, they, they were peaking in the last two weeks. They haven't looked great. They had the miracle win, miracle cover, I should say, one of the great covers of all time. I was on the right side of that. If I was on the wrong side of that, I'd want the lineman who threw the, threw the football back. He'd be in the execution ring right now with me. Um, I'm not sold on the Packers. Haven't been sold on the Packers all season. I'll stick with the 49ers at home, minus three. Uh, I don't love it. These are two teams I guess he play more. But I will take Niners at home. Hopefully it bounce back. Get things going again. I'll take the Niners. Jimmy G. Make some questionable decisions, mm, doesn't he, guys? Yeah, a couple questionable decisions. That's like He makes decisions with a guy who's been told he's been good looking his whole life. It's like he just doesn't have to think about it. Well, that's really what it comes down to is that he, when he throws an interception and he takes his helmet off, he's still Jimmy Correct. G. Who cares, right? right. Like yes. When you look like that. So you don't feel like it. You right. don't feel you, like it. Like our guy Blake Bortles, God love him. When he takes his helmet off, he's... Well, we don't talk about that. He shaved his head. Down. No, no. See, Dave, that's mean. Or don't. Mean. Oh, you love Blake? I'm a big Blake guy. Oh. Well, I can still throw up my mouth. I mean, Jimmy G looks like God. No, Bo Bortles, Bortles is good-looking guy. He's good looking. follically challenged. What's going on here? Wait, Bortles, Bortles is good-looking. He's great-looking. Jimmy, Jimmy G. Jimmy G's well, okay. Listen, well, well, listen, you're good-looking. You're not yeah. great-looking. No, yeah, let's, let's Bortles is great-looking. Jimmy G's okay. Uh, listen, I mean, listen, I wouldn't fuck either of them. They're not my style. Okay. But... What about but, Tommy? He's a cock tease. Uh, and a bad shoe. I'd rather have Tommy in bed either than either of them, but okay. I don't I don't run that way. It's just Tommy? not how I run. I, I mean, it's not no how thanks, I run. But a good cock. How big is your penis? <laughs> Pretty average. So, <laughs> so what is that? An average penis Give is 5.7 inches. So what is your penis? <laughs> First of all, let me explain something to you, okay? Okay, it's Sunday night, but can I just get to one thing quickly? I'm doing yoga, and oh, this God. session, I needed pure meditation. So my yoga instructor, who's been to India, India, Brazil, Israel, Egypt, Cairo, met the Dalai Lama, I don't, I'm not actually sure. Bottom line in this game, 
I hope you're not upset at me. I'm charging 2,500 for this game. Ooh. I'm making a half a million dollar bet on this game. And it's gonna be a cold parlay. The side total parlay. You're I'm making half, half a million, million on a cold parlay. parlay. I'm gonna have to spread it around at 60 sports books because they don't want my action. But listen, I'm charging 2,500 for this cold parlay. It eliminates 99.9% .9 of the people out there. But don't be a hater. If you can't afford a Rolls Royce, you don't go into a Rolls Royce dealership, you're not gonna pay me for this True. game. I'm looking for 5,000, 10,000, 50,000, 100,000 dollar betters. It's a cold parlay, it's 2,500. Pay me at stewfinder.com. $500,000 parlay. 500 large. Parlay. Pays 1,260,000. Wow. And anytime I've stepped out and bet a parlay like this, I'm not going to tell you that. Okay. I'm not going to tell you. I, I'm taking the over. The over is an easy one. It's 47. Oh, you're, you're big, on the, to love, you're big on the totals this week. Yeah, and I love the over. This, okay. is a, this is another guaranteed win for me. Tommy. Packers coming off a of bye. Aaron Rodgers with at least 10 days rest is 15, 5, and 2 against the spread. 5 and 1 is an underdog in those games. I just don't trust this Packers defense. I think they can get run on. I think they can get passed on. I like the over. It's going to be great. Give it to me, and we'll be back right after this with our Mortal Locks and Larry's Pick. Hey guys, FanDuel Sportsbook is now live in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, West Virginia, and now Indiana. And if you're betting on sports this season, download the FanDuel Sportsbook and register with promo code STOOL for a $500 risk-free bet. We also have our Mortal Locks of the Week promo. Every single week, FanDuel will offer our Mortal Locks of the Week as a parlay on the FanDuel Sportsbook. You can use your $500 risk-free bet to ride with our picks because this is the week we go 3-0 on our mortal locks, or you could just be an idiot and fade us. Check out our locks on the FanDuel Sportsbook app and get registered with promo code STOOL for a $500 risk-free bet. If you have a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.1800gambler.net. Welcome back. It is time for our Mortal Locks and Larry's pick. By the way, just a reminder, Mortal Lock Parlay at FanDuel. Almost hit it last week. We're going to hit it this week. But before we give you our Mortal Locks, let's see what Larry has. He was 5-4-1. and 4-1. and 4-1 and one. Four and one last week. Larry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning and welcome to Sunday afternoon on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? You know, with our contestants, you never know what type of character is going to sit down in that chair until you meet him. And this guy, what a guy, is Larry the freaking Goldfish. Thank you, Reg. It's good to be back. Larry, you are on a roll. What a guy. You know, my old co-host Kathy Lee used to drink like a fish, but she sure couldn't bet like one. Haha, <laughs> be careful, Reg. Katie Nolan is in the audience to defend you now. Fair enough. <laughs> What a freaking guy! Larry, right now, you are on the historic parlay streak. You've won seven freaking legs of your money line parlay, and they're all underdogs! I like to take chances, Regis. The lifespan of a goldfish is only two and a half years. Incredible! You know, we had our top boys in the back crunch the numbers, Larry, and you're not going to believe this, but with the odds stacked up on this parlay, you will stand to win exactly one million dollars on your hundred dollar bet! It really is wonderful, Reg. Gonna blow it all on hookers and coke. Simply amazing! Let's take a look at the eighth and final leg of your Moneyline Palais. For your final win, the options are the Jets at plus 125, the Awards at plus 160, the Packers at plus 125, or the Seahawks at even money. I'd like to phone a friend. Okay, and who are we calling today? My wife's friend, Tillicum. Let's get Telecom on the line. Who is it? Hey, Telecom, it's me, Larry. I'm down to my last pick and... Hang up, baby. Is that, is that Mrs. Larry? Is that you? Uh, uh, Larry, we're, we're kind of busy right now. Hey, babe, um, this is awkward, but I didn't think an end. I'm gonna file for it to Babe, I'm just calling to tell you because I'm about to win a million dollars. I don't actually need your help. I just wanted you to hear it live. Whew. It's the Redskins. Final answer, they're beating the Lions. Okay, Larry, Redskins, final answer. Larry, you are 
going to find out right after the early games are over. Tilikum, are you still there? Uh, I, I am, and I just did. Haha! <sighs> <laughs> okay, back right after this. Dead serious here, because this is dead serious. First of all, I'm making a half a million dollar, a $500,000 cold parlay Sunday night. Cold parlay, cold parlay. Decide the total of the parlay. I've been giving it to you for 99, it's not happening right now, okay? 100,000 dime parlay. Parlay, 100,000 dime parlay. I've never done it before, it's gonna cost you. $2,500. Again, $2,500. Yes, you heard it right, $2,500. You can say, Stu, how can anyone afford that? Well, listen, there's plenty of people that buy Lamborghinis, Maseratis, Rolls Royces. That's the clientele I deliver for the last 40 years, and that's who's gonna buy this game. $2,500. I'll have a half a million on a cold parlay. 100 dime cold parlay. Sunday night side total parlay. Ready to roll! Ready to roll! Ready to roll. Okay, here we go. Mortal Locks time. I won mine easy last week. Dave won his easy. Stu pushed his. Stu, we will start with you as the loser in the clubhouse. Go ahead. 6-3-1 and one on Mortal Locks. The luckiest cover in the history of life was the 49ers last week, and I thought I won. I forgot the rule that they changed last year where if the clock runs out, you don't need to take the extra point. Uh, in this game... In this best bet, this is a mortal lock. Let's go right back at it, the Cleveland Browns. They're gonna take helmets and smash everyone over the head in the game. It's gonna be a route. Lay the double digits. This is the second game I'm laying double digits in the NFL. I don't think I've ever done that in my life. Browns win, probably 41 nothing. but don't bet the total here. Browns shut them out, 41-0. Hmm, who are they playing? I don't even know. Okay. No, do I care. Dave. Give us your mortal lock of the week. I just can't. Well, first of all, people, what am I? Sam Darnold seeing ghosts get it. It's a joke. Ever since he saw ghosts against the Patriots and said they were in the hunt for the playoffs, they've actually been pretty decent. I can't have the Oakland Raiders traveling across country laying points. I can't do it. It's one of those games where you close your eyes, you think it out, and say, this isn't right. Sorry. It's one of those games where you just say, this isn't right. The Raiders can't go to New York. They can't go anywhere. Yeah, they're having a good season. I don't care. Two and a half. That's why I'm 50. Stu, can you stop? Stop being a child, Stu. He's got a helmet. I'm 50. Dave, he's got 31. a helmet. He's what? He's got a helmet. I got the Cleveland Browns helmet. Do you understand the reference? I can't see out of this because I'm only oh, oh, okay. full. So, all right, People all right. are listening to my picks because I'm winning their money. This isn't a sideshow. I'm trying to give picks that win people money. This is real. I'm serious here. <laughs> They are my, plus two and a half, New York Jets, seeing ghosts, not seeing ghosts. Just block out the noise, block out Stu, take the Jets here, that's my pick. Dave, your life just flashed in front of your eyes. You I can't see know. anything, the eyes so are too close. high on my forehead. You were so close. All right, I have my mortal lock, I have two mortal locks actually. I'm just going to give you for free, for free, the Steelers and the Bengals under. That's going to be the easiest under of all time. The Bengals have no one, the Steelers are missing Juju and James Conner. And then, for my mortal, my real mortal, my extra mortal, Lord forgive me, it's time to go back to the old me. This is a meme in real life. I'm taking the Falcons minus four. Falcons minus four, Lord forgive me. I'm back on my bullshit. Take the Falcons minus four. They're back, baby. What? Uh, what? I'm just looking, my eyes don't line up. Oh, he's got the helmet again. Oh, you're gonna fucking smash something. Stop. All right, we'll see everyone next week. Stu is gonna, I don't know what. Next week is Thanksgiving. We're gonna have a whole spread. It's gonna be themed. Stu's probably gonna fuck some mashed potatoes. Get excited, I guess. Tommy. Hot, say goodbye to Hot Tommy. Forever. Oh, Tommy, Stu, coming to you, baby! Spilled the coffee. Oh! oh Stu, he's, he spilled the coffee throwing helmets. Do you have any paper towels?